Hi everybody, it's Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer, coming to you today from Ottawa. And so we, I still have uh, the Maritimes on my brain. It was such a great trip out there. We, uh, we did a lot of really interesting things. Brett met with a, a lot of people. I know I've told you all this stuff already. You know, we had a, I had a, a great dialogue with a, with a, a local uh, rabbi in Halifax who was able to to share with him what we're doing in Ottawa and how we're connecting with the Jewish community. I actually had a meeting today with the Jewish community um, this morning. I met with an MLA as well. And so it's just so exciting what God's doing. You know, if you're listening to what he's saying and you do what he says, I mean, it's amazing the doors that are opening up to us. I mean, I don't know how many times I get to, to like, like this this week alone, I think three or four times I was talking to Jewish people, even in MLA, I was talking about this one MLA this morning. And I said to her, you know, I said, time for us to be bold and courageous. And Joshua, the Lord spoke to Joshua this in Joshua 1, that it was to be, to be, to be bold and courageous to take the land. And so I was encouraging this MLA to be bold and courageous. It was well received. And, uh, and again, I told her, you know, we got a team praying for you. She says, I really need it. And uh, she's a great MLA, great MLA. And this is how we build relationships. This is how we bring the kingdom. This is how we preach the word. So anyway, so I just want to tell you a little story. So one of the things that was kind of negative when we were out west, out east rather, down east, was uh, one of our team members said this, that they had approached uh, their local church and said, uh, we'd like to pray for Canada. We'd like to pray for Canada. We'd like to pray for Israel. like to pray for the nation. Do you think we should do that? And, you know, you know, Anhoff is, has, is putting together canopy of prayer teams across the nation. Can we do that? And well, the pastor said, well, you know what? Uh, it looks like these guys, us and and Hop and some others, you've been talking about another ministry that, that we love, that, that they're activists. And I thought, yeah, that's exactly right. We are activists. We are activists. That's exactly who we are. We're activists because we pray the word. That's what we truly believe. We pray the word. And the word is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword, Hebrews 4, 12. Sure, living and active, of course, we're activists. That's who we are. We pray the word. We don't get caught up in all our opinions. I mean, I've got a lot of opinions. I've probably got more opinions than all of you combined. I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt it, I have a lot of opinions. But my opinions do not come into my prayer. I pray, I try to pray what I think is coming from the Father. And I try to pray what I'm hearing from him, that's intercession. And I tried to pray from the word, based out of word. So I'm not in this place, I call it the chicken little anointing, where I'm all excited about the, the sky is falling. No, because my eyes are fixed on him, because I'm listening to the Lord, and I'm listening for, to, to, for the instructions to pray, and I pray, God give me eyes to see, ears to hear, and courage to walk in what you're telling us to do. So anyway, I want to encourage you today, be an activist, pray the word. I'm Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.